Hey guys, Matthew here. So I went on a trip and I came back and on my way on my trip I actually got me a Dell XPS 15 2020. Um, I, paid, I ordered it and I got it shipped to me back in Texas but now I'm back in Arkansas and I've got it here so we'll go ahead and unbox this so stay tuned. Okay so we've got the packaging here so let's go ahead and just get rid of the shipping packaging so we can get the unboxing on so we'll go ahead and use this so there we go we've got the actual box here the Dell XPS box so let's go ahead and unbox this okay so when unboxing this we have this little tab here so we'll go ahead and it's a magnetic tab kind of um, and we see uh, beautiful Dell XPS right here XPS and then Dell the computer so we'll take the computer out and we'll move this to the side the first thing is that this is a well-built computer just from feeling it it's a little heavy I'm used to MacBook Pro 13 inch and this is definitely a lot heavier than that but I'm assuming that's because one this is a 15 inch but also because this is made out of um, uh, aluminum and it's got it's just a beautiful piece of hardware and it's made uh, it's built um, very sturdy and it's a good quality build so we'll move this to the side and the next thing we see here is we've got the the cord that goes from the wall to the uh, power brick so we'll move that here and we got just some paperwork you know um, Dell XPS kind of telling you how to use the device so we'll move that and we'll kind of toss that and then luckily Dell actually uh, provides a kind of a an adapter a dongle um, in the box so you don't have to go straight and try to find a dongle online or go to a store or anything like that you've got a USB-C to uh, HDMI and USB-A uh, a dongle here so that's really nice I like that a nice touch to that Dell adds that in the packaging and then finally you've got the power brick right here we'll go ahead and take all this stuff off in a minute but this is a uh, 130 watt power brick um, so this is a good size power brick and is going to charge this Dell XPS um, really fast hopefully um, it uses USB-C charging which is nice I like USB-C as everybody knows so uh, we'll go ahead and put this to the side as well and then other than that that is it for the Dell XPS packaging so we'll go ahead and put that back in here and I'll go ahead and close that and so this again this box is very nice it's solid black and it's just a nice box so we'll move that over here so this is all that comes in the box is the um, dongle here uh, the co the cord that goes from the wall socket to your power brick and you got your power brick and then finally you have your Dell XPS so here is all the stuff that comes in the box so if you're worried about oh well I need to go buy a dongle or oh I just bought this um, I can get a Dell XPS or a Dell dongle uh, for $14 instead of the normal whatever price it is just because you bought a computer um, don't worry about that the, at least the 15 inch comes with a dongle in the box so just letting you guys know and, and that you're aware that you don't have to spend that extra money for the extra uh, adapter dongle whatever you want to call it so okay so we'll go ahead and move this to the side and we will take uh, this and we'll kind of open this up right here I'll open up on the side and then there we go and the first thing is that this is a beautiful computer. Uh, I'm used to MacBook Pros. I've had a MacBook Pro since I was in high school. Um, and my first impressions is this is beautiful. So quick specs on this device right here. This is the uh, Dell XPS 15 inch, again, uh, 2020. This has the Core i7 10th gen processor. Um, and I bumped it up to the higher end uh, core i7 so it has the 8 core processor and not the 6 core processor 6 core processor which is um, gonna help with video editing this also has 64 gigabytes of RAM 2 terabytes of internal storage and I have the GTX 1650 Ti I believe in this uh, 
configuration. This is the top of the line configuration and this will run you about 3100 a little bit over that in US dollars. So um, any of you guys want to um, convert that into Canadian dollars or pounds or anything like that, you are more than welcome to. But this configuration, top of the line, is 3100 uh, US dollars. Now, later on, Dell has already said they're going to make an Arctic White version of this. So that's going to be another 50 to $100 for the Arctic White version of this. And then I'm sure they will make a Core i9 um, version as well. So I've got the UHD Plus touchscreen versus the uh, Full HD non touchscreen. That's the anti, the, the matte finish so that also adds up but i know that the bottom the base configuration of this computer here costs about uh 1300 i believe uh don't quote me on that but um i'll place links to this computer down in the video description so you can click that and do whatever configuration you want to kind of see the price on that so uh, the first thing we see here is that on the if you're looking at the computer on the right side of the computer you've got the um, USB-C uh, port it also provides uh, power delivery you have the SD card full SD card slot which is nice especially for content creation um, photo editing video editing anything like that yeah, and then you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there which is nice and then on the other side you have two more USB-C ports that also uh, do power delivery. All three of these USB-C ports uh, support Thunderbolt 3, just so you know. And then you have your Kensington lock uh, port as well, so in case you want to lock your computer, if you're in a public space or anything like that, you can do that. Um, so, we'll go ahead and open this thing up here and let's see. Ooh, that is beautiful. So my first impressions right now, going from a MacBook to this, this is beautiful. The trackpad is massive. It's not quite as big as a MacBook Pro trackpad in my opinion, but it is very, it's very large um, right here. I really like it a lot. Uh, it feels amazing. It's glass. Uh, you got that glass trackpad, Windows Precision touchpad, I believe, is what it has. Um, and it's just nice. I like the carbon fiber um, right here. It's it's it feels good. It feels cool to the touch. It's not super um, cold like a full metal, but it also feels really nice here. And then just uh, I'm gonna the keys. They're a little mushy. They're not um, as clicky as uh, a lot of like your your. I guess your MacBook keyboards now, not your previous ones, those were horrible, but your your new MacBook keyboards or your chiclet style keyboards, they aren't that clicky, but these are good and they have a decent amount of travel. Um, and you've got a full size keyboard, which is nice. Um, and then also here, this is your power button and it also doubles as a fingerprint reader. So that's also nice. It's very similar to like your MacBook. Pro with the touch bar and all that where you've got your power button and fingerprint reader all in one key so that's very nice um, we'll go ahead let me boot this thing up here and we will boot this up and see how this is while we do this I will go ahead and undo the power cord here so we can kind of see about how long the power cord is um, I personally like a really long power cord because I like to have this for anywhere in the room and just be able to put in any kind of um, electrical socket and not have to worry about, well, I need to be a little bit closer or anything like that. That's why I really like the MacBook um, power cords because uh, with those, the original power cord doesn't come with, it just comes with the, the brick and then the power cord, but you can actually buy an extension to those bricks. Um, to make it a little bit longer, which is nice. And so this is essentially the same idea. You've got the power cord here, and then you've got uh, an extension. And so it, it's really nice to have that. Um, hopefully it will be pretty long. So we'll go ahead and take that and move that here. And I'll go ahead and um, undo this right here. Maybe, maybe we'll see. There we go, okay. So, and then 
we'll just plug this in. I wish this part right here was a little bit longer, but again, it's it is what it is. But yeah, this is a this is a very long um, power brick, which is nice. And again, it's 130 watts because with the top end model, this supports I think an eight. It's a 70. It's an 87 watt uh, power. Uh, battery uh, versus the lower end models which are a 57 watt or 56 watt uh, battery so this has the the larger battery because again it's supporting the 4k touch uh, screen versus the non 4k touch screen and this also has a more better uh, powerful graphics card and a, uh, a higher uh, end uh, CPU so I want I, it's gonna need that uh, bigger battery for that so I'll go ahead and uh, set this up and then I'll kind of give you guys my first impressions and all that so stay tuned okay so when setting this up I uh, was asked about uh, fingerprint scanner and face ID or, yeah I guess uh, camera face IR um, unlocking so this has uh, Windows hello not only does it have either the fingerprint scanner or the face unlock, but it also ha it has both of them. So that's really nice. You can kind of choose which one you want to do, or you can do both or anything like that. So it's really nice that it has both of them. I like that. Uh, I think more computers should do both of them, not just one or the other. So just wanted to let you guys know that it has that and it works. So far, it's from just the initial one I did, it works pretty well. Okay, so while it's getting everything set up, I've already put all my info and all that in, but I just wanted to uh, address an issue that I've heard and I've seen from other people is that the trackpad on the Dell XPS Dell has an issue with quality control and with um, the trackpads and how sometimes if you're using the trackpad to kind of move over to the side or anything like that, move your mouse, it'll just click because it's too shallow and anything like that. But um, Dell has said that if you've gotten a Dell XPS after June, that that issue should be fixed. If you've got if you got it after June or before June, then you can contact them and they will try to make arrangements to fix it. If you're still having issues with uh, your trackpad with a XPS that you've purchased after or June and after, then you can also contact them and they will try to fix it because Dell's uh warranty policy is very good um, from what I've heard they they really they really try to uh, let the make sure that the customer is happy with their purchase and so um, they will do what what it takes to make the customer happy and so again if you have a trackpad that is faulty uh, you can contact Dell and they should either replace it or fix your computer um, based on that, depending on it, you can Google it and um, try to find see um, what they said about that because they did release, uh, uh, I guess, a media thing saying, "Hey, we've un we understand this is happening. We have this. This is going on." So, just want to let you guys know. Again, if you bought it June or after, the trackpad should be fine. If you bought it before June, um, then you can kind of let them know and they should try to fix that so just want to address that before people um, are like hey what about the trackpad any issues with the trackpad um, again I bought this in July and so I shouldn't have any issues with the trackpad so just want to let you guys know okay so I have this set up now and as you can see the screen is beautiful it is a beautiful screen it's a quad HD plus display so you're, it's a 4K display. It's it's amazing. You got the bezels are super thin, as you can see, um, very thin bezels. They call it their infinity display. Um, and up here at the very top, it is a they have a IR um, face recognition camera along with your webcam. So that's really nice. I like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and kind of minimize that. But um, one of the big differences between the Dell XPS, the previous ones, and uh, the 15 inch now is that no longer do you have the Dell logo here at the bottom making you have a huge uh, chin on the screen. You've got now the screen goes all the way down. So no longer is it a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but I believe it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So that should be better for 
watching videos, anything like that, it should be able to fill up the whole screen. And also it allows your XPS 15 to be in a smaller chassis because no longer do you have to have it a little bit taller for that uh, Dell logo and all that. And they do have the webcam in the right place. I know several years ago Dell for whatever reason decided to put the webcam down below so it's looking up your nose but luckily they moved that up and they have kept it up here at the very top which is nice um, from what I hear the speakers sound amazing they rival that of the MacBook Pro uh, speakers they're not quite as good but they are one of the better uh, Windows uh, computer speakers um, I uh, haven't tried it yet I'll try it later but I just want to kind of give you guys a um, first impressions Another big change that Dell did to their 15 inch lineup is that the trackpad is considerably larger. Um, before the trackpad was very small, it, was, it wasn't very small, but it was small for the size of the computer, but they've widened it, they've expanded it, widened it, made it taller, all that. Um, it's not, again, not as quite as large as the MacBook Pro trackpads, but I mean, at some point, the trackpads just get way too large in my opinion and so I think this from what I've seen looks very nice it's a good size trackpad again here's the carbon fiber I think it feels really nice um, it should help with um, fingerprint smudges um, having it like this but we'll see over time how it feels you've got your full keyboard you have your speakers um, flanking the keyboard on the left and right of the keyboard, which is nice. And then again, you have your beautiful screen. Uh, another thing is what's really cool is you can lift this with one hand, one finger, just so no longer do you have um, the issue of, as you can see, I and it opened up really fast, but um, you, it's very weighted on the bottom, so you can open it up with one finger and not have to worry about it kind of doing this, tilting or anything like that, or sliding, because the, the weight on the bottom is a very good weight here. When it comes to ventilation, I'm not going to open this up right now. I'll open it up uh, later, maybe in my review video of this, so stay tuned for that. But, um, you've got this opening right you've got this opening right here um, and it's a vent for your computer hopefully it, it allows it to breathe a little bit more but also you have vents here and then um, what Dell did with their new one is they've added another um, heat pipe to kind of let uh, more they've added a heat pipe and another fan to, to let air flow a little bit more um, I wish they had gone with a vapor cooling system like they did with their Dell XPS 17 inch this year but they decided not to do that with a 15 inch which I mean it is what it is um, it's still from what I hear is a lot better than the previous Dell XPS when it comes to overheating um, right here you've got kind of your your rubber uh, feet right here so it allows for it, the computer to not um, kind of uh, doesn't move around a whole lot so that's that's really nice and then of course you've got your Dell your beautiful Dell logo right here uh, it looks really nice it's clean minimalistic um, in my opinion this uh, just from the initial view um, rivals that of the MacBook Pro um, lineup I will say Dell did get rid of the USB-A ports and they also got rid of that button with the light LED lights that told you uh, how much battery your computer has. However, in my opinion, you don't really need it on the side because if you're using your computer, uh, you're going to be able to see how much battery you've got on your computer. So you're not going to go, oh, let me see, and then click the button and then be like, okay, I've got three bars of battery left. You're going to have that battery display on your computer. So just my opinion, I know some people may like it, some people may hate it, kind of stuff. So I don't think it's necessary, and I like that Dell kind of got rid of it. Um, for a 15 inch, this is very pretty thin especially with the amount of power this is supposed to have um, and so it, it is very thin um, com considering for a 15 inch but it also for a 15 inch kind of light it's not as light as a MacBook Pro 13 inch but that is to be expected um, it is I believe 4.4 pounds uh, which is for a 15 inch not too bad. I know the MacBook Pro 16 inch is about 4.5 or 4.6 pounds. 
I'm not sure what that is in grams and all that, but um, overall though, I do think that this is a beautiful computer. Um, I'm excited to use this as my main computer. Um, my MacBook Pro, I've had some issues with it, and so um, I decided I would get this instead. But anyways, uh, stay tuned for a, uh, a, uh, a full review of this computer after I've had a couple weeks to use it, and I'll tell you my likes, dislikes, and, and stuff like that on this computer. But anyways, that was my Dell XPS 15 2020 unboxing and walkthrough. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video. Until then, everyone, stay safe. Peace.